Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. Okay, so I've got a different camera angle today because uh, I've got a painting on my main easel, which you normally see on a Monday. Um, I don't want to disturb that because I'm, I'm in the middle of filming that. So I, today I thought I'd do it, just do a quick overhead cam painting for you. It's a Welsh hillside. I hope you enjoy it. A big thank you to all those key workers out there that are helping us stay safe and looking after our health and dealing with the shops and the food and the transportation and everything else is keeping the world running at the moment so a big thank you to all those people so without further ado let's get to the easel and do a painting for you so we need to have a look at this um first of all i'm going to do is pick up a little bit of titanium white and a small amount of ultramarine blue on my brush and we're just going to put a bit of sky in. Now we want it slightly darker towards the top. And I put a like a an orangey type of gesso mix to warm up the sky onto my little bit of cardboard that I'm using actually. A bit more white. I just want to lighten this sky up a bit because this is like a, a summer sky. I want a little bit of that orange to drag through. There you go. A little bit more blue, I think. Just a touch. Just a touch of blue in the sky like this. There. Quite like these little um these little paintings that I've been doing since we've been locked in at home with this virus. And I find these little paintings relaxing. I've got a plan to do um, a rather large um, cough. <coughs> painting of a, a tiger hopefully over the next week or two that's going to take a little bit of filming I've got that on uh, my other easel at the moment which is what you normally see uh, on my lessons but because that's taken up and taken so much time I don't want to keep pulling it down and putting it back up and and stuff I'm just going to get a little bit of fluffiness in the sky like this maybe it's a few clouds in fact it's still a little bit wet now I'm using my own paints so um, I've got a they, they don't dry as quick as normal acrylics so it does help a little bit so they, they're plenty available plenty of them are available on the website if you want to pop along to www.cliveyart.co.uk That doesn't mean that you can't use any other acrylics that you have, so don't worry about that. You don't have to have any specific acrylics for this. It's just I mix my own paints now. And I use my own paints. And because they work for me, I've, I've actually found a formula that, that works quite well for myself, um, which I quite like. And that's why I do what I do. You know, just put a bit of shadow in the bottom of that cloud there like that. I don't want too much activity in the sky so i'm going to mix a little bit of green i'm going to use a little bit of yellow ochre and a little bit of ultramarine blue because i want this to be quite quite a blue green i'm gonna have to put some cardinum yellow onto my palette in a minute i want it slightly dark maybe just a small amount of black to that a nice dark green but it's, I want a blue green because we're going to put a um, mountain in like this a bit of a mountain range 
hillside, if you would. I'm just going to just darken the one side of that up a bit. I want it slightly darker on the top there. There, like that. wash my brush a little bit again a little bit more yellow to the one side and then I'm gonna put a few more little bits there like this like that bringing that down to represent maybe some fields and things I'm just going to bring a little bit of white to the one side of that. I'm trying to develop a bit of yellow ochre down there, a bit more of this dark green now. Maybe there. I'm just going to blank that out, that section. A bit more black on there, a bit more yellow ochre. The black, the Mars black I'm using has got blue in it, so maybe a bit darker than that and maybe represent maybe some trees and things bits of fields you can see some this is so distant anyway it doesn't really matter you get the idea what I'm going to do I think it's going to add a little bit of um, yellow to my palette I can find some yellow to knock in my lights all over the shop. There we go. Is another bit of light gone? <laughs> there we are. Bit of yellow. I got to be careful because I've got my my camera set up at a, at a at a weird angle here because I don't normally work like this. But like I said, I've got that mixing a bit of mid yellow straight into that green that I just made. I've got uh, that other painting on the on the other easel, so I've got no al alternative really than the, than the paint like this. I'm going to brighten that up a little bit with some white because I want some brighter fields in the bottom there, like that. I'm going to bring another field down, another. Um, mountain range now down I'm going to darken that up a bit more just consistently mix in this paint until I get it to the, the color I want there you go some yellow just on a brush there you go I'm just going to put my brush into some water in a minute I'm going to pick up a, a detail brush this is a, a number six I believe um, again I'm going to go into some black I'm going to mix a little bit of black so I want some darker colors maybe represent some little trees and things maybe there's a little forestry on the Welsh hillside there a couple of little fir trees and things like that you can see them in the distance 
there's mountains all around Wales that look like that. So I'm going to get a little bit of blue and some white. I'm just going to mix a little bit of blue and white together. Because what I want to do is put a little bit of a, a river coming in. down there or something like that. I just get this grass to come back down. There you go. Pulling in some green area down that mountain like that. Let's put a little bit of yellow ochre there like as if there's a bit of maybe a rock face or something so let's mix a little bit of red a little bit of yellow ochre together mix a little bit of blue to that a bit more red a bit more blue so we got a bit of a a brown type of colour going on. I don't want it too dark, maybe a little bit of black to that. Don't be afraid to try and do different colours. Wash the brush very quickly into some water. It's going back into this green mix now. into that dark colour and put in some trees and bushes and whatnots. There you go. A couple of little bit of bits of bushes down there and let's build in them. bit more grass there a few trees down there a little bit bigger there because they're a bit more in front let's put a little bit more grass just over there you can just about see that river now just about see that little river let's get some All this grass is coming down, going into that little estuary, because that's what they call it, an estuary. Like that. There we go. So picking up a slightly bigger brush now, and um, I'm going to get some more of this dark green, a bit of black. Blue. I'm just slightly darker because I want to put a, a nice big tree here like this. Maybe a little bit darker than that. There we are. Don't worry about shape, it's just play with this. This can be refined. If you're going to take this into a bigger paint, you can refine this quite nicely. There you go. Let's add a little bit of blue over there. A bit more red. Get some yellow. Just paint up to that tree like that. A 
it's coming it's coming I want to get a bit more blue yellow get that bit of dark there mixing a little bit of white with this green I just want to put a nice bright light field like this nice light bit of grass there you can see that the light is beaming down on the on this field on this hillside because this is another hillside it's like that one over there let's get some of this dark color just play around with a bit of shadow under those trees like that there we are just rolling rolling hillsides Oops, I just knocked my camera. Let's put some light into this tree now. The light is coming this way, so we need to, to think about that. I'm just going to change my brush over to a slightly bigger brush. This is the brush I painted the sky with. So now we need to get this green and get a bit of yellow ochre into this green mix. I want to make it a little bit darker than that, a bit bluer than that. yellow just adding a bit of yellow into that now this is lush lush pasture lush pasture getting a bit of dark down there All different types of greens, blue greens, yellow greens, and just mix it in all together. There we are, let's put a bit more yellow in there. This reminds me of so much of one of the mountains and the hillsides that I walk a lot with my little dog Molly. I'm just going to rest the brush. I'm going to pick up some of this nice bright yellow green mix that we've done and I'm going to put a few a bit more reflections in on this tree like this just like it's catching some light a bit more over there like that but here a bit there a bit everywhere it's like an out to focus painting isn't it out to focus photograph Imagine standing down by there and doing a little bit of fishing, can't you? I could, I could. Just getting a little bit of water, a little bit of moisture on my brush. And I'm going to do this like that. A 
Put another one there. Welsh hillside without sheep. There's sheep are everywhere in Wales. And all you need to do to paint sheep is just a couple of little dots like that. Don't look much at the moment, do they? Nope. A few dots. There's fish, sheep, and normally lie under trees like that. There you go. Okay, a little bit of black paint. A little bit of moisture, a little bit of black paint. There we are. All I'm going to do now is just put a Shadow in there and there. It's got black hair, that one. <laughs> there you go. Easy as that. we can do then get a bit of grass color just bed them down a bit just put a bit of shadow under them bit a bit of shadow because we know the lights are coming from this direction when we can get a bit of white pure white And just slightly highlight the sheep like that where the light is hitting. There you go. And then get a little bit of black. And just put a few little birdies in. There we go. There's my little Welsh side painting, my C5A for Clive 5 Art. So I hope you've enjoyed that painting and um, thank you very much for joining me in the studio again today. Don't forget to like and uh, subscribe and uh, I'll see you next week for another fantastic lesson.